In this final part of our online information session, I want to review the application process. Now, you'll be working with the Graduate Admissions Office to complete your online application. And it all starts by creating an online account where you start your application and pay an $80 fee. Now, you don't have to complete the entire application at once. You can always start it and then revisit it and complete it. Now, you have to gather certain components, um, a resume and a statement of purpose, Statement of purpose, also called a letter of intent, is literally one page written to myself in terms of why you want to be in this program and why do you think it's a good fit for you. You need to provide three letters of recommendation. We need official transcripts from every college or university that you've attended. And if this is relevant for you, the uh, language requirements are posted online. Now, the most important part of the application is the image portfolio. And I am going to dedicate a slide to the application portfolio. Everything is due that you're going to be mailing in or uploading by January 15th, 2016. A lot of this you can now submit online. So if you have any questions about the application process, please contact the Graduate Admissions Office. Now, the application portfolio, this is really the most important part of your application for us, where we're looking for one to three bodies of work, like a small series. You might have a series that you've done in the studio or traveling or portraits, etc. We're not looking for 20 completely different images. If you have lighting skills, it would be great to show your lighting skills. In that portfolio, 15 of those files are flat JPEGs and five of them should contain Photoshop layers. We understand that many people are working with raw processors. If you go online, there's specific information on how to submit files that you are just processing with your raw processor. The images should be clean, sharp, color balanced. Please only submit 8-bit images at 2,000 pixels in either width or height. We don't want any high-bit files or raw raw files, plus you wouldn't want to be sending them away anyway. The five layered files are going to show some basic image enhancement that make the image look better. The best hint I can give you is only submit the photography that you're really passionate about. Here are some examples of image portfolios that people that we've accepted submitted. And you can see what we mean here by a body of work. Here's an entire series of interiors and some photography with painting combinations. But you can see how cohesive this is. And here we have a great example uh, showing some studio work and travel work. As I mentioned, if you have any questions, please email me at mpsphoto at sva.edu.